Okay, so here we are. It's gonna be only an hour before we leave Moho Sphere of Influence, so we need to get working quickly. Let me plot first and then ask questions later. Uh, looks like we could get a little bit closer. It costs a lot for... Maybe what we really need to do is a combination of the inclination and Doesn't seem particularly productive, but it does bend the orbit a little bit. That's nice. Let's see if we can make it cheaper. Doesn't look like it. Don't know if this is even advisable. Moho just doesn't like to help us space wayfarers out. I think that's enough. Seems like a waste. How much will it take to get into orbit? <sighs> Do I have that? This might end up being a flyby mission. Let me check if I have that. We have 4,728. It says I need 4,216. I think I've misjudged this situation. This is pretty bad. Okay, well, let's do some... Well, what happens if I do pass it? Could I get a ticket back to Kerbin at all? Not the most inspired path. And we're in totally wrong position. How about if we do something over here instead? How much would that cost? Three thousand, uh, a yeah, thousand three hundred and eighty. Okay, um, yeah, this is pretty bad. Decisions, decisions. Let's do some experiments first. Goo feels right at home. Well, you could just stay here then. Um, gravity scan is good. 160. Sensor passes over terrain of Moho, surveying for variances in gravitational field. Indeed. Barometer is not going to give me anything ever. Temperature scan. Nope. And seismic data, obviously not. Merman. EVA, EVA report, 64 points. Board. So I could ditch the lander stage, get the fuel into the rest of the stuff, and, and make for home. I think that's my best bet at this point. Yeah, I, I don't see how I can get into orbit, land, do our stuff. I mean, we could get into orbit then do the landing. They may even rendezvous up and then refuel this. 
with another mission? I don't even know how to get a mission here with enough fuel. We'd have to carry that much payload. That's a lot of payload. We'd have to build a new rocket, a bigger rocket than a Lambda. I'm not up for that at this point. Let me get as close to Moho as possible. So that hopefully we can get a near Moho thing. And I'm going to transfer the fuel out of this stage. And into these tanks. We are going to lose some lights, sorry about that. And that's going to be a pain for me too, because I can't see the stuff very easily. But, yeah, I'm going to do this. Now we're a little bit more efficient. Got to turn towards Moho and do the flyby. So change of plans, folks. Uh, that is... I've only been around Moho once. There's the bloody planet. I've only been around it once with a probe. I've never sent Kerbals here. And I forgot how horrible it is to try and get here. Well, 19 should be close enough, but I guess we'll get even closer than that. And then... It's a shame that our uh, that the ascending and descending node are so far off, because otherwise I'd be able to fix some of the, I guess. No, I don't think I can fix any of it from this part. If I was over here, you know, closer to the ascending node, that'd be fine. But not really. I can't really tilt it here and take too much, and I don't think I'd be able to anyway. This isn't the best flight path out, but we're already going to be boosted to an orbit that's higher. I'd actually rather go lower. But that's all stuff that should be fixed out here, I think. Let's see. Totally opposite sides of everything. So let's say we add another maneuver over here. That's gonna take a lot of arrow breaking to get rid of the energy that would be from such a high orbit. Maybe I should try a radial burn instead. That's the... Unfortunately the radial burn seems to want me to go in the wrong way. This way is not very helpful. It's practically the same idea. Nice to have an encounter though, that's sure a plus. Let's see if I do it on this side. Not really helping. Okay, it's not showing me anything. Alright, so... Whatever, this is the plan first. Let's get the inclination right and then we'll figure out everything else. We'll be going way fast. It only takes us four days to get out to here. That maneuver is going to be 1904 meters per second. Good thing we dumped out our stage. All right. Well, let's see how far out we are from Moho now. 17 minutes. We are not going to be able to get to Elu with this thing. Gonna have to reconsider that. If only I could 
use Moho to do a inclination change, but we're in such the wrong position for that. Oh well. Okay, with any luck we should be near to Moho now. Observe the mystery goo. Yes, keep the data. Seismic data is useless. Thermometer. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's EVA Merman before we lose near Moho. Okay, board. And I think that's just the barometer and, but the gravioli is important. Yeah, 160 sensor passes over the train of Moho. Yes. Okay, outbound we go. I think I should just pull my orbit in a little bit in order to make sure that I'm going faster than Kerbin throughout and well Kerbin is Kerbin is behind us. Well we we can still catch up around this way. Wonder how many little uh, maneuvers I can add to this thing. Okay, so let's say. No, let's not do that one. Let's say here, I add a maneuver and I burn. Nope, that's totally wrong. Okay, let's not do such things. Nope, I don't like any of this. We're just going to flatten out our orbit and then figure it out from there. Alright. We're going to depart Moho. Beautiful though it is to be this close to the sun. Not very helpful in terms of Delta V issues. All right, time for the mid-course correction from hell here. And I will spare you this. I will catch you on the other side of it. Okay, at this point, let me just dump the maneuver node and see what's what. I'll take point 0.5, I think. All right, time to do some strategic plotting here. I had seen this sort of thing before. It's 1,522. But then we've got another problem, right? We've got to be able to get... How are we going to air break? It's a tough one. I will probably have to use the online air braking calculator for this, because otherwise I have no idea how I'm going to be able to get in close enough so that I mean, uh, uh, to make sure that I get into orbit rather than get into a uh, bad situation. It would be very easy to get into a bad situation. Bad situation being, of course, that Bob Kerman does not have parachutes and would not survive if we actually re-entered all the way. I guess from out here, three million is uh, three thousand kilometers is about as good as I'm gonna get. We're gonna be coming in at an angle, which is very unusual for me. I usually come in in the direction of the planet itself. 
Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely use the arrow breaking calculator because otherwise I'm going to mess this up so bad. And even now at the end of this I sense that some rescue might be necessary. We'll see. Okay, here's another one of those really long burns. Probably less than some of the others we've done because it's a lighter vehicle now, but still. So yeah, catch you on the other side of it. Okay, here we are coming in to our last bit of our burn and also the last bit of our fuel. And... Yeah, let's tone it down a bit and dump this maneuver so we can see how close we're getting. I'm even going to use RCS to bring us in a little bit closer, if possible. One thing we do have is RCS, so... Well, I guess that's the best we can do. All right. Well, you can see our fuel situation is dire, and we will need to aero brake. But I can't figure that out until we get closer into the Kerbin system. So, so yep. Yeah. See you once we get there. All right, we're in, and our periapsis is still pretty high. I'm going to adjust that first probably because well seems like a good idea Let, uh, let's see see how much it would take now that says 500 but that's not right that's from in there if I did it from out here, let's just see how much it would take. I don't think it'll be too much. Let's see. It's still pretty tilted. Okay, there we go. And that gets us in closer. Let's see how this looks. Uh, not quite there we go. Let's let's continue. Oh, okay, that doesn't look like it's doing right. Better to do all the inclination stuff here, of course, than try to do it once we get close to Kerbin. And that looks about right. That looks roughly flat. I mean, as flat as we can get from here. All right, so uh, let me pause and get my data into the arrow braking calculator and figure out what we need to do. Okay, the arrow braking calculator gives me 27,060, which sounds roughly right to me. So I'm going to try to do that, but I'm going to try and do that with RCS rather than with uh, with thrust. Okay, that's twenty-seven thousand one hundred, not twenty-seven thousand one sixty, but should be roughly right. I still don't like the way we're coming in though. I don't want to get into a troublesome orbit. And this still looks like a troublesome orbit.
Let me set the moon as a target to see... Nope, I'm not in the orbit, so it won't give me anything. Fix our periapsis again. Okay, and I'm gonna pause a bit to double check error breaking calculator because, yeah, I definitely don't want to lose any kerbals this time. So, let me do that. Okay, well, now it's saying 28600. I'm gonna pick a number between those two. Let's say that, and hope for the best. All right, nothing for it. Now we aim retrograde. Thank our lucky stars that deadly reentry isn't installed. And as we approach Kerbin, cross our fingers. Oh, uh, I guess we can. Well, we'll approach closer and then retract our solar panels. The only thing that actually breaks when entering the atmosphere. Okay, I think I'll bring in the solar panels if my action group still works. Nope, it doesn't. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I'm probably going to turn off the lights at this point. To conserve the, the electric charge. Alright. We need to get into orbit. Preferably a close orbit. But... Survival first. We are going fast, 5,900 meters per second into Kerbin. Right. Going that fast, I wonder if uh, the air braking calculator wasn't uh, underestimating how close we can be. I don't think... Observing Mystery Goo probably doesn't get us anything here, but maybe I should do some of my other stuff, right? Because I never get to do a barometer thing, and uh, it still can't be done right now, thanks. How about a gravioli detector, though? We haven't done one around Kerbin. Oh, and it's it depends on the biome, huh? Okay. Well, then we can get a few more of those. Uh, have we done a temperature reading around here? No. Okay. Mm, that's gravity. Barometer now? No, that's now uh, spent, apparently. Always gotta be thinking about science, folks. Uh, let's try this one. Nope. This is our periapsis, more or less. Oh wait, our periapsis has dropped. No, it's it's dropping, but. It's... All right, Kerbin, come on. We've passed the periapsis, but we haven't gotten to orbit yet. Okay, it looks like our our trajectory is turning so that we will get into orbit before we leave the atmosphere. So that's good. All right, up we go. All right, we have an orbit. And in 
inclined orbit, 17 degrees, not great. Gonna have to do another one of those inclination burns to fix that. Okay, and we don't seem to be getting enough drag here, so I'm definitely going to burn retrograde now. Okay, I'm going to keep my apoapsis high, I think. And my periapsis accidentally dropped a bit, too. Yeah, alright. Let's go up to our apoapsis and then burn for orbit to bring our periapsis up. Hopefully, at least, keeping my apoapsis high will mean that the inclination change later on will be will be safer. Okay, um, prograde. I'm going to use RCS to boost my periapsis. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, so, highly eccentric orbit, but that's not our business right now. Our business is getting Merman Kerman back to the surface. And for that we're going to rely on the RCS in the in his little pod. So we're going to give him some more RCS. And just to sort of balance it out I'm going to take from the tank on the other side as well. Okay, I wonder if we have a gravioli detector free. That one's done. That's the barometer. That one's done. That one's done. Nope, it looks like we're all all set on the graviolis. Otherwise I'd try one right now. I think we haven't done one like this. But alright, so guess we decouple and then bring our periapsis for the lander portion down. Lander, uh, our pod. Yep. Alright. So, switch. So at least Bob is still uh, safe uh, in a very odd orbit, but still safe. And now we can uh, bring uh, Merman Kerman back home. Let's close the hatch. I'm going to switch over to Bob and get his solar panels out. Alright, so he's fine. And let's see now. All we need is a tiny little drop into the atmosphere, and that should be enough. Not that far. 28 kilometers should do it. Okay, uh, SAS would be helpful. Oh yeah, let's get the lights on uh, on here back on now that we've got the solar panels out. Oops, this way. Alright, uh, looks like we're more or less burning at our other vehicle. That's not pleasant. Let's just do that slowly then. Looks like we're not headed right at it. All right, yep.
Should probably check that we're going to be over hospitable territory. Ah, uh, this, this stretch looks low enough. Alright. Okay, sorry there aren't any lights on this portion, but we can't have lights on everything, I guess. Alright, at least Merman Kerman will be bringing back some valuable valuable data and science, so it has not been a total loss. And we did visit Moho on an equivalent basis as we visited Eve, for instance. Uh, unfortunately, Moho didn't have a moon to land on, but that would be a painful deceleration as well, so... Ah yes, we do have the little green light on the battery so you can see where the pot is, but that's about it. But we might be able to enjoy a sunrise, so it's going to be a saving grace. Now, at some point, I can do a barometer reading, right? I mean, it's not like I can't do it anywhere. The... How, about, how about right now, just out of curiosity, scratching the itch as usual? Uh, that's, that's the wrong stuff. Um... Come on. Where did I put them? That's the gravioli. That's barometer. Oh, okay, we already did this one. I bet we did low as well. We seem to be over this island. I wonder if this island is a different biome. I doubt it. But it might be a hazard of some sort. <laughs> Uh, looking at it, um, hmm. Well, we're coming down on it, and there's nothing for it, so uh, I hope we don't come down on any like there. There, and no, I don't want that cliff. Just slow down, slow down. Sure looks like a unique biome. Just an island over here. Nice place, should set up something here. That sort of looks like a quicksand pit, doesn't it? Alright. Um, well, let's just make sure, log pressure data, ah, oh, we've done it before. All our temperature readings are filled, no, this one isn't, aha, grasslands though, just grasslands. I guess we could do a size seismic reading on the grasslands though. No point trying a, our last glue con goo container. But, oh well. Oh. Jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. I guess flying at Kerbin, I haven't done it before, or, or, well, that's worth something. So I guess it is worth something. Okay. All right. Uh, let's time warp a bit to get this thing down. Okay. Plop. And let's try a seismic reading while we're here. Sick science. Not the best thing in the world, but we'll keep it and we'll take it. I'm sure we've done an EVA on the grasslands. I'm, I, I think, let's just see what science we've got. All right. Uh, yeah, let's recover vessel. So it was a long and arduous trip costing a great deal of fuel and not entirely successful because we didn't land on Moho. However, we did get 1,178 science from the trip. And uh, a lot of that came from the gravity scan in space high over the sun. 
And uh, don't underestimate the gravity scan in space high over Moho either. Uh, or the one near Moho. These gravity scans are crazy. So, so yeah. And uh, we did the flyby of Moho, so we got the points for that. And so it wasn't a, it wasn't a total loss. And in fact, I think this is enough points to unlock two new technologies. So let's go to the tech tree and do such things. Okay, so here we are. I don't really need the technologies, but I will take them because it is my duty to complete this tech tree. And we are getting that. The rapier, yes. And we're just short of getting one of the others. So, so... So next time I'm going to have to uh, fuel up and uh, retrofit the, the transfer stage, but I don't know if it's enough to get me to Elu. I'm going to have to work on that. Elu is a totally different situation than Moho, because once you get to Elu, the amount you have to slow down by is much less. It's nothing like the 4000 that we had to slow down by. Uh, when we got to Moho. Uh, we, we will be traveling very slow relative to the sun and uh, so the braking once we get to Elu is much more gentle. But I have to take a look at that to make sure our existing system can bring us there and actually allow us to land, right? We still want to have a goal of landing. Elu has a very inclined orbit so we are going to have a hefty inclination burn but probably nothing like what we had with Moho because it's not as close to the sun. Okay, so anyway, that's the plan, and so I'll take a look at that uh, on the side. Unlike what I did here with Moho, I didn't really take a very good look at it at the cost of getting to Moho. And uh, hopefully next time I'll be ready for uh, Elu mission, and with that Elu mission, we will complete the tech tree and then be free to rescue Jeb from Duna. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.